Oh, no. No humming title card. It's time for Nezuko to reveal all her sleepy cuteness. <laughs> At least he's not crying this time. So far. You never know. The dude is possessed. I think we found Zenji's just blood art. It's clinginess and desperation. This guy's blood art is just showing off his abs. That is the most calm thing he's ever said. You don't wear clothes when you have a body like this, Agatha. Yes. You had me at food. <laughs> it's a huge relief to actually get this like moment to decompress after all this demon slaying we've been doing. There it is. There's the throat humming. Episode 15, Mount Nanagumo. In a slightly different title card though. A little bit extra bloody or spider webby. And now it's time to get back to the violence. Please don't poop my instructions <laughs> into my hands. <laughs> Mount Nanagumo. Thank you for explaining that, I had no idea. <laughs> He's thinking! Leave it to Inosuke to like start a philosophical conversation. This is an age of awakening for him. That's gonna take a while for you. <laughs> I sort of don't blame Tanjiro, like he has a lot of patience. He puts up with a lot of noise. But what is their place exactly? They are sort of like on this mission, full steam ahead, to destroy demons that come in their paths. But like any venture, it's going to continue to transform and take shape and have increasingly more meaning as they pursue it and realize exactly what it is and who they are in the process. Like, it's a little bit harder to identify Tanjiro, although I feel like he's already made some pretty definitive steps in that direction. Like who he is is an older brother figure, right? Like a caretaker, a leader, someone who is strong enough in himself that his sacrifices actually are meaningful and are generally good. Someone who will always sort of lean on his own goodness and his own strength in order to do what he feels is right. Then for Zenitsu, he's got the sweetness, he's got the kindness and the emotion, but he doesn't have the connectedness or the vision. He doesn't have the discipline. He doesn't have the inner resilience. That's sort of his opportunity. Inosuke's opportunities, he's just this raw bundle of talent and energy, but it's sort of chaotic and meaningless. There's nothing higher behind his actions yet, though that seems to be taking shape in real time. And additionally, it's not just their journey as individuals, but also the fact that they're going to have a crew identity at some point. I feel like all of them in their different ways are going to end up being very aligned. <laughs> What's on your mind, Zenitsu? Oh, I thought it was going to be something philosophical or an interesting question. I actually feel like there's something to that. I'm getting a smell. Oh, oh, someone else has threads. Tanjiro's not the only one. <laughs> this poor guy. He was already already terrified. And then they saw a comrade get yoinked. He's not scared. Honestly, I feel like in his case almost always gonna be the most terrifying guy in the room. Some kind of spider dude? Spider demon. It's got a little bit of a melancholy theme, though. There's a story here. Inosuke. What are you doing? Thank you. Huh? Inosuke was to He, I mean, he created a really big energy on this mission. Yeah, he's like a symbol of strength you can sort of lean on in this situation. Just follow, follow him, like he said. It would be funny if, out of all the people, Inosuke learned the most from Agatha. Is that too low for you? <laughs> I 
There's that big energy. I sort of like it. These crows are just angels of death. They don't give a crap. This is where you go now to die. To the northeast. Wait, turn on them? Is he being spider controlled? This is terrifying. It's like coming from within. I hope they don't get a hold of Inosuke. Might have done that a little earlier, but oh well. Giyu. Giyu! Long time no see. Shinobu. This will be an interesting reunion. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Make the show pretty short. He said that, but also he spared Nezuko. Maybe in that sense, Tanjiro's mission represents something a little bit greater. <laughs> He's having a, a, like a moment. There's just, yeah, they don't have time. They don't have time to like pep talk you through every interaction, through every mission. Sparrow's tired of your crap. There's <laughs> your motivation. Whatever gets you going. And of course, Nezuko is in the least amount of danger, it seems. He just speaks a different lo love language than the others. He wants words of acknowledgement or whatever it is. If only we had someone in our party who was good with sounds. Here's an opportunity for Zenitsu. <laughs> What's the culprit? Is it spider bites? Soft spider silk? It's a good thing these guys are so low ranked. Spider strings? This is tough, yeah. This is not the place to put your energy, but okay. But I feel like he'll comply. Yeah, there you go. Let's think of it as a challenge. It is spider threads. It's cool art. Literally become puppets. They could have easily just written them off as dead and killed them. It was a tough choice from Tanjiro. Oh, he got hooked. Little demon minions. You gotta take out the source. These are the boss fights that are the most annoying. The ones where they have these normal enemies constantly spawning, getting in your way. Yeah, what is he smelling? You can follow the smell though, right? Can't you just squish them? Even spiders are up limits. Right, right. That's the real threat. We need... Zenitsu! We need that person you left behind. Oh, she just showed up. Very graceful. Her clothing is very on the nose. Oh, it's not her. It's a relative. Our spider family. I mean, it's not an adventure story unless you're fighting a giant spider of some sort. It's the rule of fantasy settings. I like how he called him Forehead. Oh, he's got forms too! He has this ability? Since when? Wouldn't this require, like, discipline and training? Or was it just born with it? Spatial awareness. That's a pretty powerful skill. If you can beat Tanjiro's nose. It's not that far off. She's like 100 meters away. Don't think that's how it's gonna go down. I think your bond is about to get broken. We're about to see a much sadder spider boy in the next episode from the bird. Zenjutsu and Inosuke, for that matter, will annoy the hell out of you deliberately, but just when you're feeling like you're fed up with them. They'll do something transcendent that makes their faults seem insignificant in the face of larger friendship or heroism or whatever the case may be. Although I actually feel that in a weird way, Zenitsu is going to be the one who has the most difficulty in this dynamic because he has the most needs or expectations when it comes to interacting with others. He's the most like warm-hearted, let's all be bros and talk about how much we like each other kind of dude. And that's not at all what either Tanjiro or Inosuke is like. I mentioned love languages, you know, and some people like to translate emotions into discussion. It just happens to be a level where they can best experience that or conceptualize the fact that it, it exists. That is actually a big one for me as well. And I feel the tension sometimes of being with people who prefer to give and receive love in very different ways. You know, maybe not through words at all, but 
through action. Tanjiro seems very much like an action kind of person. Like he will be there for you and he'll, you know, risk his life to save yours. And he'll give you his last piece of food and be pleased when you offer him some back. You know, he's very grateful and unselfish in that way. But he's not the type to like stand around talking about how amazing you are and like lavishing you with praise. At least not in moments where he has other things he's focused on, like his work duties. And I feel like what you see sometimes when people's needs aren't getting met is they start to like act out, hoping that people will take note of that. But it often has the opposite of its intended effect where people put more distance because they're sort of put off. Like one way of conceptualizing relationships is that water flows downhill and people generally like things to be comfortable. And the more strain you put on a relationship, the more burdens you put on other people for action, actually the more difficult that friendship becomes a lot of the time, especially in its early stages. Friendships flourish the best when everyone is allowed to be themselves and being themselves is a comfortable and fun thing and it's rewarding in itself rather than like having to meet this checklist of duties. So Zenitsu is all sort of wrapped up in his head about like what it means to him that they quote unquote left him behind when that wasn't what happened, that they're not acknowledging his fear. And I totally understand it, but like the way through that is not to sit by the side of the road sulking, but is to decide what he wants to do and who he wants to be regardless of reward and to do what he feels is right. And I feel from there, he'll actually get, get what he wants and the rest will follow. But it can be tricky to sort of conceptualize it in that way.